welcome to my channel. My name is Allison. I make cleaning videos and lifestyle videos twice a week. Today I am going to be testing out a couple of natural cleaners and seeing how they do against a commercial cleaner. I'm going to be doing, um, I have two toilets, so I'm going to be cleaning one toilet with the natural cleaner and I'm going to be using a net, the Splicel, the Fresh and Clean Toilet Bowl Cleaner, which I'll show you here on the other toilet and I'm just going to give you my opinion and see which one I think is a better, does a better job and which one I think is a better value. So I hope this is interesting, I hope it gives you some insight. I really like trying out different cleaners and seeing how they work, so we'll do a little experiment here. First I'm going to actually start just putting some gloves on since we're cleaning the toilet. And I'm also, I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I'll try to just talk you through it here. And put on my gloves. going to be using the Lysol cleaner, which is what we're using. I'm just going to squirt it around on its face, try to get the corners. This one is not super dirty, but I think I'll be able to tell at least how, how well the scrubbing is going. I'm also going to just kind of give it a quick smell. It has, it has a, a pleasant smell. I mean, it just smells like a, I guess I, what I would say any cleaner smells like. It's got a nice fresh scent to it. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute here. And now that it has sat, I'm going to take my toilet bowl scrubbing brush and just give it a nice scrub. I'm not going to go super hard to start. I'll go kind of light. Pretty easily. And I'm just going to be cleaning the bowl. I'm not going to worry about the um, seed or anything. Normally I let it sit, but just for this test, I think I'll probably just let it sit for just a few seconds and give it a flush so I can give you an idea about it. <laughs> and the bowl looks really clean. I'm, it actually still smells the scent from the cleaner. That everything is white and shiny. I think it did a really good job, so I am happy with the Lysol. I don't have anything to complain about. I think it was effective. It says it kills all the... Uh, it says 99.9% of viruses and bacteria, so it does have that claim. I can't verify it, but hopefully anything that was in there has been destroyed at this point. So I'm just going to shut up the camera, and I will head up to my other bathroom, and we'll see how the Lysol but we'll see how the vinegar and uh, baking soda mix works on the other toilet. Hold tight. Welcome back. I'm now on my upstairs toilet and I'm going to be using a natural cleaner to see how it cleans. Um, I used the Lysol downstairs. So now we are going to be trying to use a distilled white vinegar and some baking soda. This is Arm & Hammer baking soda. I will show you here. I'm going to put on my gloves before I clean this real quickly. Um, what I read online is that you're supposed to put in the vinegar, you're supposed to let it sit for a few minutes, or a few seconds I guess, and then add the baking soda. So I'll tilt the camera down and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing and I will talk you through it here. And I'm just putting on the gloves. This toilet is slightly dirtier so the natural cleaner is going to have a harder job here. So we'll see how that goes. I 
I'm just gonna swish the vinegar around the toilet bowl. So I think the baking soda can have a chemical reaction. Now here's the fun part. We're gonna add in the baking soda. It might get a little, I know when I clean my stove, it makes kind of a fun reaction. So we'll see if that happens here. starting to fuzz a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but it is making noise. You're supposed to put, I think, a cup of baking soda in. I'm kind of just pouring it, but yeah, it's definitely busy enough as you can hear and see. Put it down a little better, but yeah, it's all bubbly. So I'm going to try to just, I'm just going to try to wait for that to stop buzzing, and then I will Scrub it out and see how it goes. And it slot pretty quickly, so let's get to the scrubbing part here. And it's still kind of bubbling as I'm scrubbing it. I'm just going to flush and see what happens. And it looks really good. It's really clean and it's really shiny. I'll try to zoom in a little so you can see it better. But Yeah, so overall, I'm really happy with how the vinegar did. It did a nice job. Um, the only thing I think that was really better that the um, Lysol cleaner did was that it had a nicer scent. I don't like the scent of vinegar, but um, I don't dislike uh, the natural cleaner. It's really shiny and clean, and it's less expensive. So, you know, I don't dislike either of them. Take off my gloves here. If I'm going to say which one did a better job, equally, I think, that, I think they're pretty equally, about, you know, so if you're looking to save money, um, you're going to want to go with the natural cleaners. And if you're looking for a nice scent, or just ease of use because you only have to put one thing in the tub, the Lysol is better. So it kind of just depends on your personal preferences on which one you want to use. And I'll try to put the price of all of these products below too so you can get that kind of a idea. I'm debating which one I want to give the contest too because I really really do like both of these products for cleaning and you know I think I am going to give the contest to the natural cleaner the vinegar and the baking soda I think are going to win my contest today they're just a really good value and they did a really good job I was satisfied with them so this is my suggestion for cleaning your toilet so I hope this was helpful and thank you for coming by my channel and I hope you all have a beautiful day today. Bye!